What's up, Muscle and Strength? This is sports performance coach Lauren Lando coming to you from Muscle Farm headquarters. Today we're gonna to go over the top five exercises for athletic performance that we can do in the weight room. First exercise, the traditional deadlift. We're gonna start with the feet in about a hip width position. The bar is tight to the shins. We're gonna go into an over under grip. Back is flat, abs are braced, and we're gonna initiate our pull driving through the heels. The benefits of the traditional deadlift are posterior chain activation, total body strength, grip strength, torso strength, and great stability from the shoulders, holding that barbell with good load on it. Our second exercise that we're gonna go through today is the back squat, and we're gonna do it today with a pause. Every time I get my athletes into a squat position, I tell them to pick a comfortable stance on their feet. Sometimes it's hip width, sometimes it's a little bit wider, sometimes toes are straight ahead, sometimes the, the foot can be slightly turned out. You have to find what's comfortable for the athlete. The athlete from here is gonna squeeze the bar, they're gonna drive the elbows in toward their rib cage as they descend down into their squat position as though they're dropping into a bucket. The abdominals are braced, torso stays extended through the thoracic spine. Once they meet their maximal depth, they're gonna drive up out of the hole, driving through the heels, and finish in the extended position through the hips. The benefits of the back squat are many. We look at the torso strength, the core integrity. We look at the strength that we get from the hamstrings, the glutes, and the quadriceps. This is a phenomenal exercise for total body strength development. The third exercise today is the hang clean. Again, there's many variations of the clean. We can start from the floor, we can start below the knee, we can start above the knee. Today we're gonna to start above the knee and we're gonna show the explosiveness the hang clean can generate from the extension to the hip to the eccentric control of the catch in the quarter squat position. We start with a firm grip on the bar. We're gonna slightly draw that wrist in towards us. From here we have a little bit of knee bend. We have torso bend like we're setting up into an RDL. From here we initiate our drive through the heels. Once the bar raises to the crease position, we pull vertically with a lot of velocity. As that bar pulls up, we scoop the elbows up and through. The benefits of the hang clean are many. Again, total body strength and power, grip strength, but really what we're looking for is the power development of knee and hip extension. Our fourth exercise for athletic development is the overhead medicine ball throw. This is a fantastic exercise for power development. The athlete begins in a hip width stance, starting with the medicine ball overhead. Rapidly descend into a squat position as the medicine ball drops between the knees. From here, we reverse that position quickly into the extended jump position, throwing the ball overhead. Benefits of the overhead medicine ball throw are many but the number one thing we look for is the speed from the eccentric load to the concentric unload. Our fifth and final exercise for athletic development is the open medicine ball rotation. This exercise is fantastic for developing rotational power that's so important for many sport activities. If the athlete starts with the ball on the right hip, they leverage their left inside edge of the foot into the ground. From here they push into the ground hard as they rotate the hip toward the wall and release the ball into the wall. There you have it, our top five exercises for athletic development that we can do in the weight room. Now, how many times a week should I do this? One to two times a week is plenty on these types of exercises. Technique is priority. Fatigue should never be in the equation. If you're doing this in subsequent days, it's a bad idea. We need to allow at least 48 hours to 72 hours in between these types of workouts. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe below.